As of November 7th, Massachusetts has approved of four new medicinal marijuana dispensary licenses, including one in Boston. There are some good studies showing that, that marijuana can be effective for uh, some types of pain condition. But then beyond that, there's a lot of questions, and there are per certainly patients who report having had a lot of um, other benefits, maybe for pain control or insomnia, but um, these haven't really been studied in a rigorous way that we would study most other pharmaceutical products. However, some doctors are worried that marijuana cardholders could take advantage of their access to the drug. There are two questions, is how can it be used and how will it be used? If people will in fact be getting a medical card, but their primary intent is to be using it recreationally. The law as it was passed is relatively lax in terms of what diagnosis you're required to have and the regulations are rather lax. The medicinal marijuana program allows for any cardholder to purchase up to 10 ounces per 60-day supply, an amount which some may deem as excessive. A medical marijuana program should be tightly and carefully regulated. They've amply demonstrated that they're, that they're not up to the task. I'm here at 21 Milk Street by the Boston Commons, where Boston's first medicinal marijuana dispensary will be built. There are many within the U.S. who disapprove of its use in any way, including the federal government, which lists marijuana as a Schedule One drug. I took to the streets of BU to find the community's feeling on this federally illegal substance. You know, people have said that it's beneficial to them in situations where other things have not been beneficial. To me, that, that just sounds like medicine. I mean, it would be like talking about medicinal opiates, which is just what we use for painkillers. It's a medicine that will allow people to relax and unwind in a way that other um, medications don't necessarily offer. Reporting for the BU News Service, I'm Lauren Westberg.